For the first time ever, scientists created a viable treatment for prion diseases. These are the dreaded fatal family of conditions that causes plaques to form on the brain. You can get it from genetics in the case of things like Alzheimer's or fatal familial insomnia, or you can get it from eating meat that's been contaminated with bovine spongiform encephalopathy. Say that several times fast. Prion diseases come from the same gene, just with different varieties. Small changes in the protein that could come from a mutation causes it to accumulate in different parts of the brain and causes different conditions. Essentially, you have all your proteins. They have something that is hydrophilic that interacts with water on the outside and something that is hydrophobic does not interact with water on the inside. Prions can bump into other proteins and turn them inside out. When they have the sticky part on the outside, they stick together and form plaques, and those turn into just holes in the brain that will eventually cause dementia and the ultimate loss of life. Because some of them are genetic, you can do a simple blood test and look for the genes associated with it. In the past, it may not have been terribly helpful to know that you have a limited lifespan. In the case of fatal familial insomnia, where people slowly lose the ability to sleep and ultimately go mad. That can be tested for. It's one of the PRP proteins. However, we're no longer powerless to change it. What this research group did is actually kinda wild. If the PRP protein is the thing that's causing the problem, let's just get rid of it. They used some new methods, which can actually change your epigenetic coding. What we understand about epigenetics, essentially, your DNA has proteins called histones. Those histones are holding on to your DNA. And if they hold tighter, if it's methylated, the DNA will not be expressed, it just physically cannot be. You can also release those mechanisms, and the DNA can be more available for expression. What they did is they turned off the gene that makes PRP proteins in the brain. And it worked. Now I know what you're thinking. Is it a good idea to just turn off what might be an essential gene? PRP proteins function in cell-to-cell -cell adhesions in a normal brain. Yeah, it's actually well tolerated, which amazes me. This is only going to work early on in the presentation of the disease. Obviously, in the late stages, there's not much you can do about those holes in your brain. There has been a decent amount of research in trying to remove plaques or break them up. I haven't seen that being extraordinarily successful. I can, however, see a world where people get blood tests to find out if they're likely to get something like Alzheimer's or other plaque diseases, or someone finds out they've been exposed to contaminated meat, and there's actually a preventative treatment that will stop the disease or at least slow down the progression. Until now, there have been no treatments at all for this condition. Now, we are talking about mice here, so we don't know if turning off the PRP genes could have long-lasting effects in people. So if you, say, had a 30% chance of getting Alzheimer's, it may be a trade-off to actually get treated if it causes other bad side effects down the line that we have not seen yet. If you have a 100% chance of having insomnia till you die, yeah, I think I would get it. How about you?